Dan, Dan and I are here in NAP 204, and this is one of five rooms where we have a ceiling array mic. Up here, you'll see sure and a green light. Um, if you walk in and you do not see that light green, then call the ITS service desk immediately because there's something wrong. And over on the back wall in all of these rooms, you will find a can tilt zoom webcam, the Aver webcam. And you see that the blue light is on it. I am logged in to the system already. So I'm using Meet as our example. So it has um, detected that I am uh, using video. And so the blue light comes on for me. You'll see on the podium that we have the Aver PTZ, Pan Tilt Zoom, remote control for that um, webcam. When you want to zoom with the presets, you're going to click the P button and then click one of the numbers. You want to point at the webcam and then you'll pan in on a different position. I can also zoom in with the plus button right there and I can zoom on out with the minus button so you'll see on the screen that I have zoomed way out um, and then I can zoom way in and focus in on the bottle. The arrows at the top of the remote allow you to adjust up and down and to the sides either way. So you get the idea and those are the arrows right up here. Okay, so let me go ahead and zoom on out and get reset. So we'll go ahead and take a look here at my settings. I have my three dots and I'm going to go to settings right here. And you see that I am pointed to the microphone, sure, which is that microphone array up at the top, and it is picking me up because we see the green lines moving. Down here, I'm pointed to the Extron Scalar D for the output, and I click test. And you can hear the speaker coming out, um, or the sound coming out from the speakers in the ceiling. If you are having difficulty, you see down here well, a little um, speaker icon. When I roll over it, it says I'm pointing to the Extron Scalar D. And I can take a look here that I have 100% volume. I can right click on this speaker and open sound settings. And a window comes up and I can see more clearly that I am outputting to the Extron Scalar D correctly and my input device needs to be the Shure microphone array in the ceiling. So now we should be in good shape to go ahead and join our meet. Now what's nice about these rooms is you not only have the pan, tilt, zoom webcam in the back, you also have a webcam right up here that you can switch to to show the entire class. So again, I return to the settings and click on the video tab and switch from the AVER to the USB live cam in this case. In other rooms, it might say a different brand. Um, so you might see Logitech instead. You'll select that 
And now it will switch to this whole room view that you see on the screen now. You also have in these rooms a third webcam, so hopefully your eyes aren't crossing at that news. Um, you will see that in this case, the webcam is right there on the monitor. In other rooms, the webcam is hidden right here on top. You just press down and it will pop up the square that contains the webcam. So now I can select this webcam, click done, adjust my monitor, down, there we go. And now I can have an up close and personal greeting for my virtual students. Hello everyone, glad you can join us today. When I'm done greeting my remote students, I go back to settings and choose video and then select either the PTZ AVER camera or the USB live camera. So I'll go ahead and do the one behind me to show all of the students first so that they can also greet, uh, greet the remote students. And that gives you the idea of the flexibility of these spaces.